Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to continue working on the Excel budget we started just previously. So, so far I'm in Excel, and I've got labels for my income categories and my expense categories, and I've put in a few um, income sources and a few expense sources. Next I want to do is I want to work on my columns B and C. And these columns are going to have some specific purposes. Um, over here I'm just going to put a label, and this first one I'll put in, oops, there we go, percent of TI or percent of total income. And then by the way, when you're after you've typed in one cell, you just press that tab key and that'll move you one cell over to the right as opposed to typing in something and pressing enter, which moves you generally one cell down. In this case, Excel is trying to help me out and move, move also moved me one cell to the left. But this is going to be my uh, budgeted amount. So we're working on a personal finance budget here. So we're going to have budgeted amounts for various income and expenses. And then, of course, we're going to have our actual amounts. And I'll, we'll run this across so that each column is a different month in the year. And then we can maintain averages and totals and things like that. So I've got budget amounts. Now I want to do a couple things here. I like the formatting that I used up here for income. So I'm going to use my Format Painter, and I can just click and drag the two cells where I want to paste that formatting to. There we go. So now those are formatted. Now since I'm going to have some information that's based off of my total income, I really need to have totals on here, and I don't have those yet. So I'm going to insert a new row so that way I still have a blank row. So I'm going to right click on row number 7 for me, on my row number, and I'm going to choose insert, and that'll insert a new row. And I'm going to go ahead and put in total income, and then I'll go ahead and scroll down. I'm going to do something similar down here total expenses. Okay. Now total income is going to be pretty easy. It's simply going to be the sum of my budgeted income sources. And for now, let me just go ahead and put in some numbers here. Okay. So my total income, when you want to start to total up some cells, you can do this in a couple ways. You can either use a formula or you can use a function. For this one, a formula wouldn't be very complicated. A formula would simply look like this, equals one cell plus another cell plus a third cell. So in my case, it's C4 plus C5 plus C6. Of course, this is preceded with an equal sign, and that would give me the appropriate total. Well, this is not so bad if we're entering in three numbers, but if you want to enter in a whole bunch of numbers, this would certainly become inefficient. So instead, what if we did equals sum parentheses, and then I select the range of cells, C4 colon C6, closing parentheses, and press enter. So now I have the same sum, and of course this will be live in that I can start to make changes. So I could change this 2,000 to 2,500. I could change this 1,000 to an 800. There we go, and I got that running total. So that's my budgeted amount. Now for percent of total income, you might be curious, okay, well, what percent of my job one, or what is the percentage of job one related to my total income? So in this example, I'm going to use what's called an absolute reference. But first, I'm going to not use the absolute reference so you can see what the problem is. So I'm going to say, okay, equals the budgeted amount from net pay job one divided by the cell that contains my total income. And when I press enter, I'm going to get a decimal, and I want to convert this over to a percentage. So I'm going to click on the cell, and I'm going to change the number formatting from what it currently is over to a percent. And I'll show one decimal. So basically, my job one is 66% of my total income. Okay, good to know. Now. I want to reuse this formula multiple, multiple times. Uh, obviously, we could just retype it over and over. It's not that complex, but you don't want to retype things over and over in Excel. It's inefficient. So your next course of action might be to use the fill handle. So I click on the cell that contains the proper formula. I go to my fill handle, lower right corner of a selected cell, or the active cell marker, and I click and drag down. In fact, I can drag all the way down here to total income, and I start to see I get some problems. My first formula was accurate, C4 divided by C7, net pay job 1 divided by total income, C7. That was accurate. 
but my second one is not working. It's net pay job two, which is C5, that part's true, but then it's trying to divide by C8, which doesn't contain any values, so that's inappropriate. So the trick to this is, whenever you want multiple formula to reference the exact same cell, you use an absolute cell reference. So let me go back to my original formula here. C4 divided by C7. All of these calculations are going to refer to cell C7. So I'm going to select the C7 in my formula. And I don't technically need to select it. I could just click anywhere in here. And I'm going to press my F4 key. The F4 key will toggle between relative and absolute status. So I could press the F4 key again, and I get what's called a mixed reference. That's a relative column, absolute row, absolute column, relative row, completely relative, or completely absolute. Now I'm going to leave it at completely absolute. Press Enter. There's no change to that original formula, but now when I auto fill down using my fill handle, I get accurate calculations. So now I can see job two is about 20% of my income, roommate's rent is about 13% of my income, and of course, they should all add up to 100%. Okay, so that's using an absolute reference. I'm going to use the same basic procedure down here for expenses. So I'm in fact going to take both of these cells, I'm going to put my cursor on the border of the selected group of cells, and I'm going to hold down my control key. Then I'll click my mouse button, click and drag down, let go of the mouse, let go of the control key. So what I just did was basically a copy paste. Selected a cell or cells, go to the border. Now if I just click and drag at the border, that's more like a cut and paste. But if you hold down the control key and then you do your click and drag, that's like a copy paste. Okay, so now I can go to these various expenses and I'm going to plug in some expenses and I'm going to kind of just make up some numbers here. Hopefully, we'll... Okay, so I've put in a bunch of totals here. I just kind of estimated some different numbers. Let's see how the total is looking. Um, this time, I've got the cell where my total expenses is going to display. I've got that cell active. But instead of starting off the sum function by typing it in, I'm just going to go up to my formula bar here. I'm sorry, to my home ribbon over to the right side. I'm going to do an auto sum. Excel is accurately choosing cell C10 through C22 for me. That's good. I'll just press Enter. There we go. So there's my total expenses. And now I want to repeat this percent of total income, but this is going to go nice and fast. I'll type the first one in by hand. Equals, and by the way, this is percent of total income. So equals the budget amount for my freedom fund divided by the cell that contains my total income, but I'm going to press the F4 key and make that absolute. And I'll go ahead and make this into a percentage. And this one, I won't show the decimals. Okay, and then I'm just going to autofill this down. Now, to autofill it down quickly, I'm just going to double click on my fill handle, and that'll drop it all the way down. Okay, so now I can start to see that, all right, uh, mortgage is about 26% of my total income, um, putting 5% into a Roth IRA. So you can start to play with these numbers now. So, what if I want to put in here, what if we do about 11% or something like that? Um, how much of your bill is going into to entertainment? 4%, 5%, 6%. Okay, so we've got some basic numbers on there. That's all looking pretty good. And let's do one more thing on here. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. I'm going to click a cell down here, and I'm going to go ahead and type in gain loss. And this is going to be equal to the cell that contains my total income minus the cell that contains my total expenses. There we go. So my budget amount of gain is 965. And of course, these numbers are probably not very realistic. Um, so we'll have to play with some of these numbers. But this is the basic idea here. So I've got my income, budget amounts, totals, percent of total income. I've got my expense, budget amounts, 
and their percents of total income. So now you can start to find out. For instance, if uh, your housing, your mortgage, or your rent was 53% of your total income, that's pretty high. So now you can start to find out what are the danger areas of your budget. So I'll jump this back down. There we go. So in the next video, we'll continue working on this project.